Welcome back. Today's video about it's been over two years since the last time I gambled. And this is the changes in my life that I've noticed up to this point. Now, I gambled for 28 years, basically ever since I could. I went to a casino on my 21st birthday. I gambled a little bit before. I knew I wanted to gamble on my 21st birthday. I knew exactly that's what I wanted to do. Unfortunately, after it is not clear or I don't have a something that I'm wanting to do. Um, so I quit during the pandemic, which sometimes I feel like, especially consistent with what I dealt with as a gambler was uh, you feel like maybe you quit too late. Um, I kind of feel like that. I, I mean, if I would have quit before the pandemic, I, I feel like things might have been a lot different. Um, there's that. So maybe the recovery may have been faster. I quit many times, I, I mean, before I actually quit, quit, <laughs> quit a million times. I, I guess most gamblers have dealt with that. You know, I would quit for 30 days or 90 days or whatever, kind of working up to understanding that any amount of gambling really hurt. I mean, frankly, being without that money hurt somewhere down the road in my life, somewhere. And so as I kind of tried to, you know, set limits as the popular bullshit, responsible gambling thing kind of implies set limits for yourself, stuff like that. I, I mean, what does responsible gambling even mean? If you're responsible at all, you certainly are not going to gamble. I mean, frankly. So, I would try to alter my lifestyle to try to fit it into my life. I mean, I was always kind of felt like that I need to gamble a couple hundred bucks. How bad could it be, right? I mean, I've gone into a casino with a couple hundred bucks and walked out with a year's worth of money. And I recently read this study that uh, over half the gamblers out there feel that they gamble to make money. And that's where I felt I was with it. I mean, it felt like a side hustle. Um, it felt like it was always something that I could go to to, to try and make some money. However, while it did have its moments, um, without a doubt, it always felt like I was never won enough money, never fully benefited from the score, right? So it became clear that gambling was indeed the problem and, and I needed to get away from it. Uh, again, you know, typical of the mindset that I feel like I was stuck in. And it's easier to see that now. I mean, looking back, I, people ask me, how do I stay motivated? Uh, you know, once you get about a year away from gambling, it becomes easier to see you know, how, how silly some of the things that you thought about as a gambler really are. Because, uh, I mean, was never a way to make money. 
um, certainly was amazing to walk out of the casino, you know, felt amazing, right? Pockets full of money. Um, I'd go home. Of course, I was married for many, many years and <laughs> be a hero for just one day or whatever. Um, but still didn't ever you know, really have the kind of life changing uh, effect on my life that, that I you know, really hoped for, right? And I kind of thought, you know, down the road somewhere, you know, I'd hit this score. But uh, probably the number one thing um, is my attitude, anger, Frankly, you, you lose your money, especially for 28 years. Um, I mean, you really get demoralized. I mean, it's basically the bottom line. You often feel like nothing works out well. Um, everything goes wrong. Which if you think about it, um, it's mostly not true. However, when you're not gambling and something goes wrong, it's <laughs> it's far less of an issue than when you do gamble, right? But uh, my uh, my mood has improved a lot um, over the last couple of years. I still have some of the the anxiety that um, that's involved with uh, that. Certainly have developed some issues. It's interesting how I, I deal with loss. Um, and uh, you know, I, I constantly have to examine the feelings that I have about certain things. You know, of course, most people or most gamblers deal with the obvious, right? The money issue. And I feel like along with the anger comes a lot of fear, right? Because that's really what anger is. And kind of the words that I live by is, you know, how, how bad can it actually be? I used to take all my money and walk into a casino. And thinking in terms of that, really gives you a sense of freedom in in the words of you know the late great Janis Joplin freedom is a, another word for nothing to lose and you know certainly felt like that um many times I, I mean you, you know you get so demoralized and so pushed down that that is the cycle that really you find yourself in I, I mean you've lost so much what what difference does a, a couple hundred more make right and you know constantly being demoralized angry about it that you know affecting the people around you. I got a glimpse of how this affected my my now ex-wife of many years. Um, we went round and round about the gambling early on in our relationship. Um, it was less of an issue, but I, I didn't 
understand what it was like till one day and uh, it was it was shocking um, I certainly didn't want it to affect her in, in, in that way um, but you can't really see it until that you have uh, a, a good amount of time away and uh, looking back you can't even you know see you know how how this has affected your life uh, until you've had you know a year or more away from you know gambling I, I, I still because of the time um, that I've been away from it um, and and of course sorry maybe I meant to say because of the span of time that I gambled it, 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 it's not exactly clear um, where life is going to go and that's kind of maybe you know my my channel I have many gamblers that follow me I am guessing from the emails that I got of course there are some gamblers that are not interested in quitting and I can understand that it, it, people ask me about that it wasn't so much that I wanted to quit I, I, I wanted uh, it, it, there come a point in my life where I was sh shocked at you know turning 40 and, and getting older and of course um, isn't it nice you turn on a video and then <clears throat> Things really, uh, people come out of the woodwork to make noise in the background. But uh, I, uh, I started getting older, and you know, no savings and and things like this that really had a huge effect on on things. And and I, then is is when I really started to understand the damage that I've caused the pandemic not having any money saved for a rainy day, which turned out to be a pandemic. Uh, things like this uh, really were quite shocking. And, and of course, the casinos being closed helped that because, uh, you know, all I was left to do is what do you do when there's no gambling and a cult, and being in Vegas and all the casinos closed uh, was really a eye-opening experience but it's been it, it's been a long time um, and uh, some of the traveling is out of necessity trying to trying to survive and keep my expenses low. Uh, it is a nice distraction. Um, it's something I wanted to do. Maybe not in this exact fashion with, uh, but uh, I don't know where life goes uh, from here. I guess the, the last question, really, how do I s stay motivated? Um, and and I tell high stakes standing this: you better find something you love about not gambling and uh, stick to that. Otherwise, uh, you may not have much of a chance. 
because I think it's hugely important, uh, in, in, you know, to be able to move on. I, I, I'm happy to be out of that cycle. Getting broke, scrambling, staying broke. The time that is not so much, you know, I, and this is what was very interesting about the videos that I made, the video poker videos. The time, the time of actual gambling was so small. And the time of scrambling is what really took up, um, took up, you know, my energy and, and time. And th that is the killer. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.